Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about a really, really easy way you could strum through John Mayer's Wildfire without having to retune your guitar. And we're going to start on a D major chord, and we're going to end up cabling this on first fret. But the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G string on the second fret, second finger goes to the high E string on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we're, we're going to, in our intro, actually, we're going to stay on D major. And then when we hit our chorus, we're going to be going from the D major to a G major chord. We play G major. First finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E string on the third fret. And third finger is going to go to the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going back to D major. And then from the D major, we're going to be going to an A major chord. We play A major. First finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A major, and it sounds really, really happy. Now, randomly, like as we're working the A major through, through the tune, you may want to try an A7 on that chord too. And from the A major, if you just lift off the second finger, which is always a dangerous finger to lift, um, then that makes an A7 chord. You can even kind of do first finger on the B string second, and then put the second finger on the B string second. And then that would be another way to play A7, so you may want to think about using that. And then from the A, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And then from the G, we're going to be going back to the D major for our, our chorus through the song. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you take the D and just try that, you have D, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down, up, up, down, up, which could work for our intro and our verses through through the song actually. And then if we tried that that through our chorus part, right, then we'd have D with a down, down, up. until we get to our solo part. And on our solo, well, we start on G major, and then we do another G major, but then we go to an F major chord. We'll talk about an easy way to play this, but if you know the bar, if you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret, and if you strum all of those together, that sounds an like F major bar. Now, a good substitute for that, though, is something called F major 7. We play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, the second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings on the guitar, that would get your clearest sound on that. That's called F major 7. And then from the F, we go back to the G major, and then we go back to the F major again. And then we basically keep that going for our bridge until we get to the very, very end. At the very, very end of our bridge, after that last F, we go to an E minor chord. And when you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going back to the A. So we try our bridge with our strum pattern. We have G with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up. part is to play along with John Mayer, instead of starting on a D major chord, he's actually starting on an E flat major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, then now your D is really an E flat major, and your G major is really an A flat major, and your, your A is really a B flat, and then the E minor is really an F minor. So it's a little weird. 
and kind of working that way. But if we took it from the very, very beginning of the song, we start out with it with our verse. So we have a D with a down, down, up, up, down, D, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, we'd be going into our chorus part. So if we tried that with, with our for our chorus, we'd have D with a down, down. Now what you may want to do for, for the verses too is you could work kind of a big down on the D and kind of do it as almost a hit, which is a little bit closer to the recording. And you could even just count time on your guitar, kind of tapping on, on the guitar in different places. Or you could strum through it and it would be kind of like our, our, uh, our verse part. Or something else that I like to do is a lot of times I'll kind of strum through those type of parts for, to kind of support my voice. And sometimes with the down, down, up, up, down, if I like adding some things called bass notes. So a lot of times on that very first down of, of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could throw in kind of a D string for your bass and keep your down, up, up, down. So you have D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up. you'd have the low E string for your bass, you'd kind of dig it on adding basses to your strum pattern. And then on the A, you'd have the A string for your bass, so you got A with an A bass, down, up, up, down. And then on the E minor, when we get to it, we have the low E string for the bass. And for the F chords, if you're doing the bar F, you'd have the low E string for your bass. And if you're doing the F major seven, you'd have the D string for your bass on that chord. So if we tried that on that next verse, just kind of strumming through it, we'd have D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up. That way we'd have D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, D with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, from there we'd be going into our next verse. Now you could do the, the down, down, up, up, down, or the bass down, 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 up, up, down, up. Or you could work it as kind of those hits that we were talking about. Or something else for myself actually, because of the way that the drum feels through, through the tune, is I would lean towards a 16th note strum pattern. What I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up, and our bass down, up, up, down. So one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns to work with is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the D and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's what you do on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing it up on two, down on three. So you got one, two, three, four, 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 one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right now what we're doing, we're going to actually kind of work for our verses. Um, 
But but if we tried that through our chorus part, we'd have D with a D bass, D with a B bass, D with a D bass, D with a D bass, and then G with a B bass, G with a B bass, D with a B bass, D with a B bass, D with an A bass, G with a B bass. Kind of our verse, so we could even work that as those hits, or the down, down, up, up, down, or the bass, down, up, up, down, or the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, or the bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, down, or, um, and, well, and yeah, so you can do it any one of those ways. And what I would do is actually kind of pick a little, one way that kind of works for you and kind of run with it. But then from the verse, actually, we'd be going into our solo part. So we, if we tried that, we could just do our down, down, up, up, down, up, and we have G with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So we took just the E minor A to kind of isolate. You can do that with the down, down, up, up, down. You can have E minor down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you can do it with a bass down, up, up, down. You can have E minor with a bass down, up, up, down, up, A with an A bass down, up, up, down, up. Or you could be working the 16th and have E minor with a down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Or you could add basses to that and have E minor with a bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, down. We'll be going back into our verse part, so you could just kind of work that as kind of the down hits. You could work it as the down, down, up, up, down, up, or you could work it as the bass, down, up, up, down, up. So do the bass, down, up, up, down, do the D bass, down, up, up, down, or you could be working it as the 16. Or you could be working it as your with, with kind of your basses. And then at the very, very end, actually, you know, right after that very last verse, then we'd be going into kind of a jam outro that, that's that's very similar to the, the first sort of eight bars of our chorus. So it kind of goes D, 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 G, G, D, D. <laughs> so if we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, we'd have D, down, down, down.
basics of how you could strum through Wildfire by John Mayer. So, good luck!